here is uh, a glass towel that I managed to scratch when I was cutting the U I must have forgot to clean the tray and the remnants of the glass was on there and it actually scratched the glass pretty bad you can hear it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these glass polishing discs and I'm going to take the scratches out I'm gonna use 150, 240, 400, 800, 1200, 2500, 5000, 7000 and I'm going to use a felt pad with cerium oxide uh, I got the optical grade because it's white and all the others were like an orange color and my grout is white so I didn't want a chance of it possibly turning my grout orange so we're gonna get started and I'm gonna start with 150 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it dry and then wet and then I'll switch, dry and then wet, dry and then wet, and so on and so forth, all the way to the end. And it's probably going to take me like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It takes a really long time. So if you don't have patience, do not do this because you will probably lose your mind. I always like to wear a respirator because I don't like to breathe anything that I don't know what's going to do to my lungs. I'm running it on high. I don't know what the RPMs are. Uh, 2000, I believe. it's hot or warm you don't want it hot because you crack the glass I cool it back down it's a wet rag cold but not ice cold water dry it off most of the scratches are gone Use the light in different angles so you can see if you have scratches. Most of the deep gouges are gone. I obviously created a whole bunch of new scratches with the 240. I mean, it's, it's a 150. I'm using a 150 to start. As you can see, all the deep gouges are gone. I created a whole bunch of new scratches. It looks really horrible in this uh, picture or this video image, but it's not really that bad. Like, it's really smooth, super smooth. There's no more deep gouges. Let's keep going. So we ran it 150 dry. We'll go 150 wet. Spin off the extra water. And yes, this outlet is off. You don't want it on. Because we're wet sanding, you don't want to be 
shooting water into a live plug. That'd be pretty uh, stupid. Let's move to a 240. 240. And I like the dry sanding because it seems to take more of the material off. The tape gets too bad. You could just replace it. You could even double it. It's all scratched up looking. It's really smooth though. When you touch it, it's really smooth. Four hundred. Dry sanding. Sometimes the disc is all clogged up. You can wash it off. Just washed off all the glass particles. Let's do wet sanding on the 400. I always spin off the excess water. Still foggy a little bit, but if you take it away, all the major scratches are gone. Now on to the 800. I'm gonna change the tape again. All right, 800, dry. Twelve hundred dry. Twenty five hundred dry.
5,000 dry. Seven thousand dry. Right now the felt pad and the powder, the polishing powder, it's a two to one, two parts powder, one part water. And you need to soak your felt pad for a minute. Already had mine soaking. Watch out with the pad, it'll get really hot, so be careful. If it gets too hot, just let it cool down naturally a little bit before you go put any kind of water on it. Let it cool down again. Getting pretty hot. that's actually really good look at that no scratches I mean I think I taped one up right right there but that's okay because you actually can't see it like no one's going to be looking at this two inches away with a flashlight. You literally, if you don't have a flashlight, you can't, you can't see it. You can't see anything. 
but if you get really close two inches away well that's where you start seeing scratches and it only took 52 minutes which is a very long time so if you don't have time to take scratches out I wouldn't do it if you're trying to take scratches out of your windshield or whatever anything and you don't got the time don't got the patience do not do it it takes a really long time I mean as you can see it looks really really good you can't see the scratches because there isn't any uh, but like I was saying kind of on the edge I would go back but since it's so minor and you can't see it without actually having a light up to it this close and being this close to it you cannot see it It'll, it's almost impossible so we're just gonna continue with our day and uh, feel pretty proud about the polishing we did so if you're wondering how it's done that's how it's done I actually got two separate kits on Amazon I bought one kit it came with uh, let's see here believe I believe it came with this backer this backer this and it came with all the different grits and this is a wet and dry kit I believe it came with this towel I don't know if that was the other one or maybe it was this one and then this kit basically came with three different sanding discs uh, 600 240 and no no marking and then a bunch of felt and this guy so that's how you polish glass very time consuming uh, wish I would have um, took into five extra minutes to make sure my towel didn't have any glass on it because it just cost me an hour of just working time um, I will post links to uh, these products they're from Amazon and I don't know I don't remember the rating on them I think some of the ratings were bad but people just don't have the patience to do this so they'll say like it ruined their windshield or it ruined this because the scratches are worse well they probably started really high and then rushed through all the other ones um, the more coarse the grit the longer it's gonna take I started at 150 and it took 52 minutes if I started at 80 I would have probably been here for two hours and I used my drill I bought a variable speed uh, Milwaukee die grinder to try to do this job but even on its lowest setting which is 10,000 it was spinning the disc way too fast and with all that extra RPMs it was heating the glass up really hot in a very short amount of time so I decided not to use the actual die grinder because it just wasn't it's not meant for these discs so one last look looks brand new except for that little guy right there but it looks way more prominent in the actual video uh, in real life it's it's invisible well I mean unless you're like a couple inches away from it with a light because you take the light away it doesn't exist let's turn it off 